Good morning. My name is Ken Andivardhanidhi from Saw Dear ATA section, bearing role number 20951 Today's subject is Business Economics and Financial Analysis. In that, we will learn about the law, law of diminishing returns or variable proportion when more is less. Okay. These are the topics Introduction to Diminishing Returns. Understanding variable proportions, relationship between diminishing returns and variable proportions, factors that influencing diminishing returns and variable proportions, implications of diminishing returns and variable proportions, and the conclusion. Okay, these are the six topics we'll cover in this section introduction and the conclusion, including. First, we'll go to the introduction to diminishing returns. Diminishing returns, also known as the law of diminishing marginal returns, is an economic concept that describes a situation where additional investment or input produces progressive, small or declining output. In other words, when one factor of production is increased, while well, others are held constant, and other comes to a point beyond which the resulting output increases at a decreasing rate. This point is known as diminishing returns, where we have all the inputs like uh, cost, um, labors, cost, all these inputs were taken. In that, only when one factor of production is increased, but only one factor, either number of labors are increased and the uh, Remaining all the inputs will be constant. There comes a point B in which the resulting output increases at a decreasing rate. This point is known as the point of diminishing rate. Where the uh, here we we have multiple inputs for a marginal returns. Where if a number of labors was increasing, sometimes the production level profit also will be increasing. When the, at some point, at some point where the labors are increased, the uh, marginal returns will be at a constant. Then even more the labors are increasing, then margin returns will be decreased. Then this decreasing uh, range, we call it as diminishing returns. I mean, actual increasing of labors does not causing the profits it uh, giving us uh, uh, losses this we call as diminishing rate even even the labors were increasing the, the returns was decreasing i mean dim, this we call as diminishing returns okay understanding variable proportions variable proportions also known as variable inputs refers to the use of different quantities of inputs in the production process to achieve a desired level of outputs. In this concept, the proportion of inputs used can be varied to achieve the desired level of output. The aim is to find the most efficient combinations of inputs to produce the desired output level at the lowest possible cost. Okay, like, uh, like, uh, we said before, like uh, the multiple inputs. Okay, we'll uh, see that like labors, fixed fixed prices, uh, labors, fixed prices, machinery, and uh, output. Okay, this four words there. If we are increasing labors, the output also will be increased up to certain level. Up to certain level only. Even more, the labors are increasing. Sometimes the output level will be constant. Even even more, the labors are increasing. The output level will be started decreasing. That we call as diminishing returns. Okay, diminishing returns means uh, they are getting losses because of this uh, increasing the inputs. So then the then on that time. The business persons will be 
unless that either they should stop the production or to continue by seeing the variable inputs changing and keeping the other in other inputs as constant okay relationship between diminishing returns and variable proportion the relation between diminishing returns and variable proportions is that they both affect the efficiency of production process when using variable proportions the producer seeks to find the most efficient combinations of input to produce the desired output level however as more and more of the particular inputs is added diminishing returns set in and the efficiency of the production process begin to decline as i said before the relations between diminishing returns and variable proportions is the is that they both affect the efficiency of production process see this uh, diminishing returns means the changing the variable uh, inputs they started de decrease the efficiency efficiency of, it will affect the efficiency of production process when using variable proportions the producer seeks to find the most efficient combinations of input to produce the desired output level however as more and more of a particular input is added diminishing returns set in and the efficiency of production process begins to decline begin to decline means efficiency means the they are getting losses because of that uh, changing the inputs okay then we will see this factors that uh, influence diminishing returns and variable proportions several factors are there to influence influence the occurrence of diminishing returns and variable proportions in production process some of these factors include the quality of inputs technology manager skills and the size of the market understanding these factors in, is, is crucial in optimizing production process and achieving maximum efficiency see this quality of inputs if we are using if you are using machinery then it will do automatically but when a man if sudden any harm, harmful thing was done the machine can't react to that situation so man if there is a man then uh, he will uh, react to that uh, sudden situations so in that time the, there may be a loss our manager skills ma missionary does not have manager skills if there is a person there is, he will have manager skills and uh, technology if uh, people here if we go for uh, updated uh, missionaries than the uh, people then the production level production quantity will be increased in uh, limited time so these are the factors that can influence the diminishing returns and variable proportion that are quality of inputs technology manager skills and the size of the market then implications of diminishing returns and variable proportions the implications of diminishing returns and variable proportions are significant for business and economics for business understanding these concepts can help optimize production process reduce cost and increase profits for economists this concept can inform policies on resource allocation and production improvement see if a, if a person or a production person did not know all this uh, uh, variable proportion diminishing returns Uh, and we uh, will not uh, visualize the data then he will he will be get profit for some time but maybe not uh, overall overall the thing if he, if you if he did not uh, know this then he will get a ma maximum loss in future so for a business person he should understanding the concepts can help the art optimize production process where to stop where to start and uh, which one was to increase and which one was to decrease all this uh, how to reduce the cost 
by using which which item they he was getting lost can analyze all these uh, things and will come to an uh, point then we will start uh, start uh, either uh, production should be continued or stop and then here are the conclusion in conclusion diminishing returns and variable propensions are important economic concepts that affect the efficiency of production process understanding these concepts can help business businesses optimize their production process and increase profits while also informing policies are on resources allocation and productivity improvement for economics see this business economics and financial analysis will play a major key role in their business uh, business things like for uh, keeping a business or uh, to get more profits profits or uh, or uh, to reduce the losses in their production way to manage how to manage all this will be tell by this business economics and financial analysis this analysis and uh, uh, economics should be major important topic in their business businesses for business people okay so these are the concepts help businesses optimize their production process and increase profits while also informing policies on resources allocation and productivity improvement for economics this is the conclusion thank you